Halifax's harbor is home to the ferries that shuttle people to and from work. But 100 years ago, ferry passengers were witness to the worst disaster in its history. When the explosion happened, the ferry boats were actually running and they survived. On December 6, 1917, two ships collided. The emo hit the explosive-laden Mont Blanc, killing nearly 2,000 people. It could have been much worse if not for Vincent Coleman. You gotta get these people out of here. That ship is gonna blow. He sent an urgent warning to a train carrying 300 passengers en route to the harbor. Coleman gained name recognition after his story was featured in this heritage moment in 1991. Come on, acknowledge. But Vincent actually went back and sent out the other messages, knowing full well that he probably was not going to you know, survive the blast when she blew up. His belongings are on display at Halifax's Maritime Museum. His pen, his wallet. His watch as well, that the hands have been completely burned off and dented in the back. And that really gives you an idea of the tremendous force of this explosion to actually melt the hands of a watch. But some believe the exhibit wasn't enough. So when the city announced it needed a name for a new ferry, thousands voted for the train dispatcher. His name won by a landslide. Short of sort of naming a, a railway engine after him or something like that, I, I think it's probably the closest thing to, to uh, uh, you know, naming something that uh, is symbolic about uh, his role in uh, the overall uh, Halifax explosion uh, history. Now that the finishing touches are underway, the Vincent Coleman should be ready to be launched by the fall. That means it will be crossing this harbour just in time for the 100th anniversary. Carolyn Ray, CBC News, Halifax.